Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. All right, so I got a couple of requests. Um, people looking to do covers for their thumbnails for YouTube channel, right, for the YouTube video. So I have a few made up. What I simply do is I make these up and then I can just go in and change the text. This is in Canva, right? We're in Canva right now. Um, but how do I, I do this? So, you know, if I wanted to just change one of these, I would just take it and once you already have this made up, all you simply have to do is go in and start changing it. You know, create a pin for Pinterest. I just, I'm going to do a video on that. Create a, a um, maybe what I'll do is capitalize this. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So that looks pretty good, right? And just make sure, you know, if you want to move it around some, whatever you want to do. So you just change it accordingly. But because the template is there, it's very easy. And that's it. it takes me a few seconds. And maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of this for YouTube. And then maybe what I'll put is videos, right? So bring that up a little bit. And then I think that looks pretty good, right? You can even it out when you move it to the side. You see that little red line comes up right there. Um, so that's good. And then I'm just going to download that. And the dimensions are 1280 by 720. That's So that's all set, right? So what happens if you were starting from scratch? Well, that's easy enough. What we can just do right here is start from the scratch. We're going to um, do custom designs, right? And we've said already that it's 1280 by 720. 720. Um, let's create a design. Do you have images? I think that it's always best to have yourself in, in the image itself, right? Like in the uh, thumbnail, little picture of you or whatever. Um, maybe I'll do another video as far as making a transparent background if you have a picture of yourself and then making a transparent background. But we can go through any of my pictures that I've already uploaded. Um, and so this is what I do. I actually make the template, I download it, and then I upload it again so that I could just hit this one and then start clicking, or I have the option of using those previously designed ones. So if you don't have any images that you're happy with, you can always uh, just search them out. Say we're going to do business, um, or, um, I don't know, maybe you're cooking. Let's see what comes up for cooking. So if you wanted to, do, you know, maybe something like this where you can always have text, um, something like this is pretty nice, right? So that would be relatively easy. You just have to stretch it out, make sure that the whole canvas is covered. Um, does it look aligned? Maybe a little off, right? And then you would um, simply just put the text in there and we're going to, that's black, so I can't see that right now. So we hit the colors. And then we just hit another color. If we wanted to pick up the yellow for the lemon, I don't know how that's going to look, but um, we could do that. I don't actually like that as much. I think the white is brighter, right? So let's go for the white. And then from here, we just go down to the, the uh, uh, different texts that we have, and uh, Canva has a ton of them. So I personally like things that are bold. Um, Lato's good. Um, I, there's so many here. You're just going to have to go through. And what I would do is try to be consistent, you know, and then that's it. You just click on it and you start editing it. Um, and then if you, um, you can bring this up if you wanted to add like another heading underneath here, this could be smaller, but we're on a big, um, canvas anyway. So, there you may want to change the font and then like healthy cooking with you know whatever your name is and um, if you wanted to do that in yellow you could do that however you want to do it if you want to bring up the red there um, you can do red that way or if you don't like that you'd add plus and then you'd have to find out where it is on the scale is it there maybe a little bit brighter but you're basically trying to, you know, pick up colors that are in the background. I always think that looks nice. So that's basically how you do it. And then this would be all ready to go. Um, you know, you would just download it. When you're downloading, I would do the PNG because it's clearer as far as text goes. You also have the option of doing, um, you know, 
P uh, PDF, which would be for like an ebook or a booklet if you were doing that, or um, you know a document, JPEG for images if you wanted to upload that. So that's pretty much it. I think you know um, this basically covers it. How you would do very quickly a thumbnail for your YouTube video. If you want to be consistent, if you want to change it up a little, I understand with the um, search engine optimization that different images are, are probably better rather than the same image all the time. But you would be changing that anyway with the text. So I hope that's helpful. I will see you guys on another video. And please like this or subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. See you on another video. Bye-bye.